Right, this is a quick video tutorial on how to set up iGame uh, on Workbench for WHD Load Games on the Amiga. Um, so to do this, I'm just going to show you how to do it um, using WinUE. Um, so open WinUE up um, and set it up in the following way. So start off with a basic A1200 setup. In CPU settings, check fast as possible. Uncheck 24-bit addressing. Check JIT. And then go down to ROM, navigate to your Kickstarter ROM. I've got a 3.1 Kickstarter ROM here. Just like that and click open. Uh, go down to RAM, uh, change it to 8 megs of fast RAM and 120 me oh, can't speak, 128 megabytes of Z3 fast RAM. Um, floppy drive, take that up to 800 percent Hard drive, so we just need to add the hard file, which is the classic workbench full add file which mine is here open that and then click OK and then click start ok now we just need to follow the instructions so press return press return again press now I need to insert workbench 3.0 workbench disk so F12 floppy disks and navigate to workbench disk open OK Enter and retry, uh, and just follow the setup instructions. Okay, once this is done, we need to remove the workbench disk. Okay, and then just restart the system. Okay, now that um, what Classic Workbench Full is installed, um, if you click this icon down here, which you run, um, double click that, um, and then left click um, WHD Load here, and then left click iGame. This is the front end for uh, WHD Load. Um, so we're just I'll, I'll install some games um, so you can get a feel for how this works. Um, so I click F12 here and just add uh, my WHD load directory, um, which is here on my system. Okay, um, and I'll just emulate a second partition on the Amiga. So I'll just call it DH1. Check bootable. Click, oops, sorry. Check to one not exclamation mark. Click OK, um, and then click um, OK, and then click reset. For some reason, da, 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 da. Oh, I need to select a path for my uh, DH1. So I'll put that there. OK, OK, and then reset. Okay, so what I'll do from my WHD load games directory on my PC, I'm just going to transfer some games across from that into the DH1 partition here that I created, and then I'm going to show you how to load those games into the iGame uh, front end. Um, so to do that, double click run down here and click Dopus. Um, and what you need to do first, just right click S and go to System, and then click on Games. And these are the um, uh, games folder directory set up on the Amiga um, with all the uh, screenshot images. So we need to copy those across to our uh, games partition. So left click it on the right window, right click S and go to our DH1 drive. And left click on the left hand window and select all and then click copy. So this will copy across the standard folder structure along with all the um, iGame screenshots. Okay, so one that's done, uh, we, let's just go to right click S again 
and go to WHD and double click C. So we're just going to install all these games and show you how that works. So right click on the, sorry, left click on the right window, right click S, go to our DH1 partition, double click C, back over to the left hand window, select all and then click Arch Extract. So this is going to install all the games beginning with C into that our new partition DH1. Okay, once that's done, uh, we can come out here and we can see if they're installed. So just double click DH1 and go to C and let's try cannon fodder and double click that. Yeah, so it's installed correctly. Press L to come out of that. Um, but if we go into our iGame front end, nothing's there. So we need to tell iGame where the games is kept. So if you go to uh, settings, start up, and assign, we need to change this here next to A dash games to BH1. And right click and go up to the top and click save. Quit out of that. And then just give it a quick reset. Go back into iGame. Right click, hold and right click and let go and on scan repositories. And all our games should be here, so let's just check Canon Fodder again. Double click that. we're done. Enjoy!